Array Studio will report potential gene fusion events in two ways. The first way is using our fusion map method where unmapped reads are tested to see if they can partially map to two different locations in the genome. The second way is to look at read pairs where each read maps to a different location but they do not map to the same gene. The RNA-seq pipeline will automatically run fusion map analysis for single end reads and combined fusion analysis for paired end reads. Fusion analysis modules can be found under NGS, Fusion. You can run combined fusion analysis or only the fusion map analysis or to report paired end fusion genes. The combined fusion analysis module expects paired end genome mapped RNA seq reads, but you can still run the fusion map module with DNA seq or single end reads. By default, fusion events will be reported if they have at least four different reads, defined as where the read is cut to map to the different genomic locations. You can change this value depending on how stringent you want your search to be. You will find your fusion analysis results under Table, Fusion. In the fusion map report, you will find either three or six columns per sample, depending on if your data are single end or paired end. For each sample, you will get a report of the number of unique cutting positions which is an indication of the number of unique reads mapping to this fusion location, the total number of high confidence seed reads mapping to this fusion location, and the number of additional reads that were able to be mapped to this location in addition to the seed reads. For paired end data, additional reads that span this location and the number of unique reads mapping to the first and second positions will also be reported. At the far right of the table, you will find additional information about your fusion event. These data can be filtered, for example, to only find in-frame fusion events. We can also show frame shift fusion events. Let's filter for the gene SCNN1A. We can see that 28 unique reads spanned this junction. In addition, 89 paired N read pairs spanned from this region to this region. The start of the fusion is in SCNN1A, and the end of the fusion is in TNFRSF1A. This is also an in-frame event. We can directly look at fusion data in the genome browser. Choose the fusion data, which include only the reads that were mapped in the fusion map. Both genes are in the reverse orientation. Let's swap the panes. We can see an alignment profile. Blue reads are reads in the forward orientation. Green reads are reverse orientation. Other colors indicate positions where it was not mapped. We can filter by our fusion ID.
let's zoom in and look directly at the read sequence. We can see that these reads mapped partially to this gene, but do not match here, but this part mapped to SCNN1A. These three reads in blue would be considered to map to two unique cutting locations. The paired in fusion report does not consider fusion reads, but is only looking for read pairs where each read was mapping to a different gene location. Again, for each sample, you will get an indication of the unique mapping positions to each location and the total number of read pairs mapping to this fusion event. By default, these reports are quite permissive and include a lot of potential fusion events. You can use sorting and filtering to find high confidence fusion events in your data.